Hey guys, this weekend we talked about some verses in Ecclesiastes. How friendships work. Two are better than one. For if one falls, his friend can pick him up. Be sad for the person that doesn't have any friends. When they fall or stumble, they're kind of stuck. They're alone. They don't have anybody who cares for them. Luckily, I know that we are all part of great families and we have church friends. At the end of that verse, Ecclesiastes 4, verse 12, it talks about a three-corded strand. And I want to share with you some different kinds of corded strands. This month we're talking about friendship. Two are better than one. A friend loves at all times. Your um, Proverbs 1717 verse. In your September packets, I gave you some embroidery floss. Embroidery floss usually comes in like a big long thing. And if you pull on it, sometimes it comes out nicely and other times it comes out all messed up. I wrapped it around some cards so you all have at least three colors of embroidery floss. I tried to pick colors that look nice together. Some of them are fall themed, um, sunflowers and pumpkins. Others are spring themed. I hope you like the colors you got. And I hope the colors that you got remind you of one of your friends. Now I want to show you a couple of things. These are lanyards, they're plastic strings. Up at camp, we make lanyards. This one is a four stranded cord. And even though it's really old and the plastic should be breaking, it's really pretty sturdy. Camp style friendship bracelets, usually made out of plastic lanyard. I have a friendship bracelet here my goddaughter made for me when she was really little. Um, she turned into a teenager this year. I think she must have been like first or second grade when she made this for me. Anyhow, she braided three pieces of like clothy, stretchy material together for a bracelet for me. And yes, all these years later, I still have it. So you have the braid as a standard three-corded strand. Later, that same goddaughter grew up and she made this one. Will it focus? This is has a thicker cord as a center. And then it's got like a nylon embroidery floss, nylon floss wrapped around the whole thing and then she wrapped the blue around as a design. So there's that style. This one might be really hard to see on there. Um, this is actually only a two stranded cord and you can actually undo it if I can see that close. This is simply twisted together. So you can take it apart and you can kind of see here, I'll twist it the other way. Whoop, there it is. And when you twist it back, it twists on itself to make a bracelet. Twist that back up, there you go, bracelet. One strand twisted on itself to make two strands. And then you have your friendship bracelet. This one was um, store bought when my friends, it says BFF on the charm there. If you have charms and you wanna stick them on your bracelet, sometimes that's fun. This is out of leather cord. So it's a little bit different than the other ones. You could make something like this, but this particular friend wasn't so good at making things. So she just bought them, but that's okay. Cause I still remember her and she's still a pretty good friend even though we're grown up and live kind of far apart. In your packet, you have the embroidery floss. There are also some instructions. 
on how to make friendship bracelets. You don't need a long, long piece. Um, I'm just going to randomly pick some that I can reach and hope that they look good together. You do want to kind of make sure they're all the similar length. And I probably should have pre-cut these before the video, but I didn't. All right, so I've got two colors here. Um, a good way to start is by folding them in half. And then you're going to want to tie a little knot in the end here. Um, I'm just doing an overhand loop knot. And then and I'm saving a little bit at the end to change it. Now, those two strands are four strands down here. Go ahead. If you're wearing jeans, I used to like to safety pin them to my jeans and that gave tension, but I'm not wearing jeans today. So we are going to tape it to my desk. The reason I suggest tape or a safety pin is because it helps keep the tension. Can I zoom in? My phone is taped. It doesn't look like I can. So hopefully you can see a little bit about what I'm going to do over there. All right. So it's taped. I'm not going to pull too hard on it. You want to make sure all four strands are a little bit separate. So they're all um, spread out. Take one. And I don't know what kind of knot this is called, but I'm going to start with the blue one on the edge and I'm going to wrap it over the next string and it creates kind of like a hole here on this side. Push it under that hole and pull it through. And I'm going to do that a second time. All right. So you're just wrapping it around once. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the next string. Over and through the hole, over and through the hole. Now the last string. Over through the hole, over under through the hole. Okay, now they're in a little bit of a different order, but I'm gonna go ahead and take this pink white one color and I'm gonna do the same thing that I just did with the blue. Over, under, through the hole. Do that again. You do each string twice, over, under, through the hole. Next, the middle strand. Over, under, through the hole. Over, under, through the hole. And go to the last strand over, under, through the hole, over, under, through the hole. And I'm going to do the same thing again, starting always with the one on my left side, over, under, through the hole. You just go through, whoops, going left to right doing two little over under through knots on each string and once i get this blue one done you can start to see there's already a pattern forming all right now the order of the strings will shift about as you tie the knot and that's okay um but that's the reason i have it taped down here is so that they Stay relatively put where I leave them. All right, so I just did all four strands. And did I do that one twice? Yeah. I'm gonna untape it here and show you. So we already have started. A little bit of a design there. It's a diag diagonal pattern. It'll be two blue, two pink, two blue, two pink, two blue, two pink as I keep going. Now, that can be a little bit tricky. That's a lot of coordination, but you know what? It will stay here until I pick it up to finish it again. It's not going to tangle itself or do anything. If you want a slightly easier but still cool looking, huh, there's a scrap. 
um, there is a pattern called Jacob's Ladder. Whoop! And it's with the same kind of knot. I'm going to go ahead and tie the knot to this pink one. Now here, my pink one is short, my green one is long. The pink one is going to be the base. I'm not going to tie any knots with it. It is just going to be the one I tie the knots onto the green. Uh -huh. <laughs> nope, that's not going to work. All right, we'll tape this one down too. This one, I'm going to be doing that same knot over, under, through the hole. Come here, through the hole. Pull it tight. And I'm just going to keep doing that over and over. You stay there. And over and over. Over, under, through the hole. Over, under, through the hole. Over, under, through the hole. And I could have cut a lot shorter for the green. It's kind of annoying to pull all, all of that space through. But, whoops, if you want um, a decent sized bracelet and you choose this style, it is going to be longer than your base cord because it's using up some of its length when you're tying the knot. My pink cord just stays straight. And I'm almost ready here to show you a little bit about this. So friendship bracelets, because we're learning about friendship, you can make for someone that you already know. You can make to give to a new friend. You can make in your friend's favorite colors so you rem are reminded to pray for them. And it's a lesson for us, a physical reminder that three chords are stronger than one. Again, Ecclesiastes talks about that. And it talks it says that because two strands are just fine if you have you and a best friend. And that relationship is stronger than just you by yourself. But the strongest relationships come when you have God as part of that relationship. He is the base that holds it all together. Okay, so let's undo this, see if you can see. Just by doing that one knot over and over, um, it turns out in kind of a spiral pattern. Um, the knot always moves next to itself, and so it keeps moving around in a diagonal. And it looks pretty cool just by itself as a bracelet. You don't need to be super creative or handy to do these. Um, I don't know what the directions say, the directions, because I left them at church. Um, if you're good at reading directions and following the written word, then the directions in your packet might be helpful for you. There are lots of tutorials and patterns online. If you're really good at tying knots, you can make sunflower patterns, heart patterns, um, arrow patterns. There's lots you can do with just a few cords of floss and some knots. So there you go. I hope at some point you get to make a friendship bracelet. Um, yeah, this was a longer video than normal. But there you go, Ecclesiastes 4.12. A three-corded strand is not easily broken. Pray for your best friend as you make the friendship bracelet. Pray for your new friends in your new school year and have fun learning a new skill. Whether you do a simple braided one 
or a twisted one or one with knots. Have fun and have a great time praying for your friends. I'll talk with you later. Bye.